Vault 34 had some questionable design decisions. The experiment was that the armory would be overstocked with weapons and ammo. I guess the reason was to see how society would operate when everyone has a weapon. In addition to the arms, the vault traded living space for additional recreational facilities, including a full-size swimming pool. The vault lived in relative peace for over 150 years with their gun-focused culture. This changed in 2231 when trying to avoid gun-related incidents, the overseer installed a lock on the armory. When a group of residents demanded the firepower, stating that they have a right to defend themselves, the overseer did denied their request. This led to riots and an attack on the armory. The future boomers secured many of the explosives and heavy weapons, but while fighting their way out of the vault, they damaged the reactor. The rioters would go on to inhabit Nellis Air Force Base and live an isolated lifestyle until a certain courier shows up. Those left in the vault began experiencing the effects of radiation poisoning. Some lucky few managed to flee to the southern section of the vault and seal the doors, keeping them safe, while committing the rest of their fellow dwellers to eventual ghoulification.